got our full size drawing. Can you remember what we call a full size drawing? Setting out rod. Setting out rod, that's the one. So that now is exactly the size that we're going to make. So yeah. that's now yours. So you need to be able to set out from what we learned previously. You need to actually set it out on your own. So okay. we always, if we're doing something the left hand and the right hand, we we'll yeah. always do it in a pair. So why do you think I might have put the face side and face edge mark there? The best side. The best side. So if it's a staircase, if you think about going up the staircase, yeah. you actually want to look, don't you? Yeah. And you want to see the best side facing inwards. Yeah. So what we're going to do to start with, I want you to mark out that one. Okay. We're going to ignore that one for now. Yeah. And then we're going to make a mirror image of it. So all our focus is on this one. So you need to take your information off your setting out rod yeah. and you need to set out on there with it. So what do you call this piece? Uh, that's the string. The string, right. Yeah. So the string's the, the bit that's gonna have all the complicated work on it. Yeah. So we've got our string yeah. and we're gonna mark out now so the other component can sit within it and be joined to it. Yeah. So what are the two components called? Uh, rise and a tread. Rise and a tread, that's it. So they're going to literally be housed into there the same way we did last time yep. where we actually cut that shape into it so that's the one we're looking at so they literally sit into there don't they yeah, yeah. so how do we decide where to set them can you remember what this thing's called mil and the margin the margin so mil. the margin is 25 mil that's right so that takes us from this point so where the where the basically, where it makes that L shape, yeah. where it makes that right, right angle, angle. We ignore the nose in sticking out, yeah. so they're going to touch that exactly. How do we know how often they're going to occur? 150. 150, yeah? yeah? And we found that out by simply measuring, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. So what you need to do now is, we know we've got spare on the bottom, yeah. so if you come up about 50 mil, yeah. so start 50 mil there, That'll give you about that point, yeah? And yeah. from there you want to mark it up at 150 all okay. the way up there. Okay, there you go. About 50 mil to start with. And every 150. Can I just make a suggestion? Rather than keep moving your ruler, what yeah. you like at max? Um, right. So if we never move that now, if we keep it level there, yeah. 150 and 50 is? 200. 200, so if you go on to 200, yeah. and then another 150, and work your way up that yeah. way without moving it, yeah, and yeah. That, that'll keep you as accurate as possible. Right, now can I just suggest that you square it when it goes down. So, you mentioned before about the pitch, yep. the pitch being the slope of it. Yes. Can you remember what it is that we use to actually mark out now to where we get the rise and tread? A pitch board. Pitch board. So if you want to now make sure that that's marked up all the way up using your pitch board. Can you remember what we used to cut it? Router. A router. So what we need to do now is quite simply get our router jig, we need to pop it on there, hold it nice and tight, screw that onto there, screw that one onto there, and that allows us to slide it up and down so that will hold it nice and tight all the time. So you can see the little mark on there. Yep. So that little mark each time, if we actually bring that now to the line that we put on, so yep. where we've got a line on every 150, if we keep moving that up 150 millimetres each time, clamp it on again, yep. it means that our stairs, when we actually cut the shape out in the staircase to give us this shape, it means we get the same spacing every, time. every single time. Yep. So what we will then do is you put it on, we'll put it in place, um, if you think on your staircase, if you run up your stairs, you can't see what's happening around the back, so yeah. we'd have to put a, we'd put a screw in there and screw it on each time, and then we get our router on it and run the router around it. So without actually starting it up, well, I need to make sure that it's going to be nice and straight when you do it, show me what you're actually doing. So we know it's not plugged in, we know it's not going to run, 
So think about what we did last time. So we pull this down, we yep. start it up, yep. and then we go around. Yep. And then so we... Where would we actually start? Can you remember from yeah. last time? From here. That's it. So you start from off the material, yep. you plunge it in, yep. and then you need to run around that direction. Yeah. Okay. So you always run around it clockwise, that's right. So just run it all the way around, and have a, just get the feel of running right around the gig for yourself. That's it. It, absolutely spot on. Well done. And we'd simply repeat that then. And every 150 mil. Yep, every 150 mil. Obviously on a real staircase, it'd be bigger than 150 mil, but yeah. we haven't got the room, have we? Of course not. <laughs> 18 full-size staircases. So Killer, what do you think about the course so far? I think this is a very good course. I'm enjoying it um, a lot and uh, I really do like the facilities because it's in a working construction environment for me. Still enjoying yourself? Yeah, I am enjoying myself in this course too. Yeah, so what is it about the course that you really like? Um, I like um, using all the tools and all the machinery in our college. Yeah, so machinery is good, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah good, good workshop place. facilities here, aren't we? Yeah, we do. So, obviously you've got a choice when you came to leave school. So what, what, what made you choose us? Or um, I chose this college because it's academically the best comparing to all the other colleges and it's got a, a three-year course on it for carpentry and joinery. Right, excellent. What skills have you developed since you've been uh, on this course? I've de developed how to use a router uh, more with more confidence and, and how to set out and mark out my work right. to the millimetre. Right, to the millimetre, that's it. Yeah, cause what do we start off with? The nearest inch and now we've got yeah. metric. <laughs> yeah. What have what been your highlights so far? Uh, my highlights must probably be um, theory, using the machinery and um, self-motivation. I'm trusting myself more with uh, heavy machinery. When I came to this college, I didn't know nothing about joinery, not one bit. And now, because I'm on level two now, I've learned so much over the year. So, where do you see yourself going next? Um, I see myself either going on to an apprenticeship or working for the council and going into a trade. Right, excellent. Joinery. Yeah, you certainly always be busy if you've got a trade behind you. Yeah, excellent. Yeah.